Once you ask me for ID and you can't come up with reasonable articulable well, suspicion, I did, I did that's when I get upset. No, I did give you a reason because we had a lot of issues. I told you it was going to steal from the But I, in order to ask for my ID, you need to have RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion, I do that. that either I committed a crime, I am committing a crime, or about to commit a crime. I don't even... The moment they said they do have an issue with you being on their property, so I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry? I'm not on their property. This is public easement, 32 and a half feet from the center line. I already checked the GIS map. I need all of these police cars for filming in public. For filming in public? That's a waste of resources, ain't it? That's a waste of resources, ain't it? What's up, bro? Why you come right here? Why you come right here? You might as well give me a hug. Give me a hug, man. Come on. Give me a hug. Big Willie. Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about a situation that shows the tensions between individual rights and the doobies of law enforcement. The main issue was a guy taking pictures from the sidewalk near a facility, and then there was a debate about whether it was legal and okay. This situation brings up important questions about what people can and cannot do in public spaces, especially when it comes to taking pictures, accessing public places, and dealing with security measures. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness and don't forget to head over to his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description. Hey, uh, Deputy John Matheson, badge number 7011891. And you, sir? I'm Deputy Holbrook, because I'm in training with him. So we talked to them, they said they don't really have an issue with y'all filming. Mm -hmm. um, at the moment, they said they do have an issue with you being on their property. I'm not. I'm, sorry. I'm not on their property. This is public easement, 32 and a half feet from the center line. I already checked the GIS map. On their property, man. We can check the survey, too. Go ahead and check it. If, if you can show me on the survey you after I've looked at it, right I'm, I'm listening. Oh, okay? so you're making it complicated. I'm, gonna, you're making it complicated. I'm on public you're property. I'm listening. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Right now, they're saying they don't want you on your property. Mm -hmm. okay. Y'all can go back on DOT's property. That'll make it so much easier. They don't have a property. But mm -hmm. if, if they keep pushing this, we'll get the survey now, we'll see where the property line is, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll take it from there. But all I'm asking you nicely is to stay with your truck. So if you're asking me, so I politely decline to go on that side of the street because I have the right to be on either side of the street. There's no sidewalk, so there's a public easement. Am I correct? Yes. No, no I'm asking you a question. Please go over your car. I don't want to go over there because I can't get my shot from over there, so I'm right here. This is where I was before. I was here before you got here. I was here before you got here. Right. I don't own everything to the street. You understand what we're doing right now? All right. Let, no, you're causing a scene. Can I get a supervisor? We'll make this easier then. Thank you. I really wish we could have taken that walk. It would have been interesting. Let's talk about this video we just watched. You see, in every state, there's this thing called the Department of Transportation, or DOT for short. They have rules about how much space there should be between the middle of the road and where the public can walk or hang out. This area, called an easement, is owned by the government, but regular folks like you and he can use it too. Now, the width of this easement can vary depending on which state you're in. In some places, it might be 15 feet wide, while in others, it could be as wide as 30 feet. It's like a little buffer zone between the road and private property. Here's the thing though, if a police officer tells you to leave this public area, it could actually be against your rights. Filming in public is a right protected by the First Amendment, which guarantees freedom of expression and information gathering. Courts have consistently said that taking photos and videos in public is a crucial part of free speech and press. This was confirmed in cases like Glick v. Cuniff, where the courts acknowledged that people have a protected right to record public officials in public places. In the video, 
the people argue that they have the right to film on a public easement, supported by legal cases that distinguish public areas from restricted state property. They say public easements are meant for everyone, including filming, and point to public utilities in the area as evidence that it's intended for public use. The correctional officer's questioning of the filming authorization shows a possible misunderstanding of state policies versus public rights. While security is important, especially near a correctional facility, it needs to be balanced with constitutional rights. The suggestion to contact the public information officer for permission, while following institutional rules, seems to clash with the broader legal permission for public filming. While law enforcement has a valid interest in security, it must be done without violating constitutional rights. The debate is about whether the precautions suggested by the officer are reasonable or if they go too far and limit public freedoms. The main point of the interaction is the argument about jurisdiction made by the photographers. By saying they are on a public easement, they highlight a crucial legal boundary for their right to film. The difference between public and state property is important, showing that while there may be some restrictions on state property, public spaces have broader legal protections. We want to hear what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments. Your voice is important in shaping discussions on important topics. Let's keep exploring, asking questions, and getting involved in the world to make sure our rights are respected and our communities are safe. Hey, uh, Officer Pops of Harrison Police, you taking pictures of the post office? Or yeah. Any particular reason or? Do I need a reason? No, you don't need a reason. Okay. Fine. What's up, bud? Anybody calling? Yeah, someone calling in. What's your name and badge number? Oh, you yeah, got that's, that's fine. What were you doing taking pictures over here? We're just wondering. You didn't answer my question. You have to answer my question too, okay? I asked You're you being first. Recorded. The, fonts, okay? the fonts, yeah. 142. Okay, so what, what were you taking pictures of? I'm we sorry. Pictures. We're just curious. We got a couple of calls that you're taking yeah, pictures in the area. Cool. Okay. Any particular reason you're taking the pictures or not? Is there a reason why you're recording? Yes, because that's part of our procedure. Oh, okay. okay. So that's fine. So any reason you take pictures, then the quicker we can get out of here. Do I need a reason? Yeah, you can hear it. We just got a call. We're just curious because we had a lot of criminal activity in the area here, so we just want to wow. make sure everything's okay. Okay? Is there any reason you were photographing? Mm, there's a reason for everything. Okay, so what's your reason? Do I need a reason? Yes, it explains to you. Do you have ID with you, sir? For what? So I could identify you. What crime do you suspect me committing? I don't know. You're not, you're not helping me answer questions, so I don't know if you did a crime or didn't do a crime. So why are you asking me for ID? Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on here, and you're not being you need reasonable articulable suspicion. Yes, I have plenty of suspicion. My suspicion is of what crime? Got a lot of calls. You were coming in the area. What crime do you suspect me of committing? Federal building, sir. Okay. okay. And we got a lot of calls. We've been having a lot of crime here. A lot of people have been stealing from mailboxes and that. We just want to make sure. What crime? Not you. You're not listening. I'm trying to explain. You're not you. answering my question. You're being very difficult. What sir. crime do you suspect me of committing? I'm trying to get to the bottom. Trying to figure this out. Can you work with us so we can? You get want me to here? help you with your investigation? Yeah, we want to know what you were doing here. That's as simple as that. I'm asking you a simple, simple Whatever question. you see me doing is what I, I was know. doing. I just got here. You tell me. I wasn't here before when I got the call. We got multiple calls. I didn't call you, first of I all. you didn't call me, sir. Okay. We got multiple calls from residents. Uh -huh. They wanted to know what was going on. We got calls from people in the building. We're just trying to see what's going on. That's all. So you should um, speak to the reporting party. We did. That's why they brought us here. We're checking. What did they tell you? What's that, sir? What did they tell you? That you were filming the building. Oh. Okay. Is that a crime? And say it was a crime. So why you need my ID? Just, just want to know what's going on. What, what brings you in the area? That's all. Just asking simple questions. That's all. Yeah. So once you ask me for ID and you can't come up with reasonable articulable well, suspicion, I did, I did that's when reason. I get upset. No, I did give you a reason because we had a lot of issues. I told you people must steal from the But I, in order to ask my ID, you need to have RAS, reasonable articulable suspicion, that, that, that either you, committed sir. a crime, am committing a crime, or about to commit a crime. I don't even, well, I'm You're not articulating well, a crime. I'm explaining to you. That you're there's crime in it. So That's why you can stop somebody. Hey, let me get your ID. There's a lot of crime in the area. Do you understand? That's all. Sir. I'm not it's suspicion of crime. I'm not saying anything wrong. I just wanted to know what you were doing. If you're telling me you're just taking a picture of building, that's fine. We can leave. It's no I said deal. that. No, you didn't say that. Yeah, I did. You didn't and you said that. that I need a reason to. A reason to what? You said, is there a reason why you're taking pictures of the building? So you know I'm taking pictures of the building. I was asking, but because yeah, I, I wanted to know what the reason. So was. you know what I'm doing. I don't know why you're taking pictures. Do, do you need to know why? Yes, I do. I'm exercising it's my First federal, Amendment. It's a federal bill. We're just curious. Do you know that the Department of Homeland Security... Sir. What's your first name? Do you know that the Department of Homeland Security put out a memo in 2018 that the American citizens have the right to take pictures inside and outside of federal buildings? I understand that. So why are you... We got multiple. So I'm why do I need a reason? I don't know why you're giving me such a hard time. 
I'm right? not because you, you asked me for ID. Yes. And I, I feel offended. Like I, I don't mean to offend you. It's not funny. I just wanted to know what the reason for the picture is. And if rather than coming up to me, right? You should speak to them. They called you. Yeah, they called and they said you were outside. I didn't call you. I don't need help. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I don't need nobody's help. I don't need nothing from nobody. I didn't say you did. I'm just minding my business. Okay. Well, we just need, you know, a couple answers. What was going on? That's all. So you just taking pictures of the building. You know what you should do? You should go inside and educate the federal, our federal workers. I was thinking that. I just was getting curious. Just educate them. So what you were taking pictures? And I was asking you, do I need a reason? Well, yeah, I was just wondering Why? What the reason was. Why do I need a reason? You're recording me. Is that weird? That's part of the problem. You know, that's, you're very hard to talk. That's, no, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to make everything make sense. That's it. I am relaxed. I see you shaking and nervous. Don't even I mean, you guys got guns. No, don't worry, I don't, don't have guns. We got. Don't, don't worry about what we got. So in the end of the day, somebody called and said somebody's out there taking pictures, videos of the building. It's for, to them it appeared to be a suspicious activity. They reported to us. We come here, we talk to you, ask a few questions. You know, we just want to make sure you, you know whatever you're doing, it's it's not compromising anybody's safety in this building. And if that's the fact that you go on with your day, what's the big deal? You know, I mean, I, I, I see you reporting us. We're good. We're recording everything we do all day long, so there's nothing wrong with it. But you know, we come here, we ask you what's going on. You know. You have a simple conversation with us to go on with your day. It's not the end of the world. I did. And, okay. So, you asked me what I'm doing. You said. You take a picture. So, so can, can I ask yeah. you? Did you go inside? Did you have an argument with them? Are you pissed off at them? Is it is it something else going on? Or I don't, are you only taking pictures of the building? I don't care about nobody in there. Okay. I never, I've never even been inside okay, that good, building. Good. That in my entire life, have I ever stepped foot in that building? We don't know that. But just, you know? just know, somebody's set, calling, they're, they're concerned, somebody's taking pictures, video outside. I don't know what the backstory behind it. Well, you know, why are you doing this? So you've never been inside, you, you know, never. you work for UPS, you, you make your city I don't really answer questions, you honestly. Ask, okay, all right, man. I just, I just want to make sure you... You didn't walk in and had an argument with them and now you're reporting outside. Is that what they reported? No, no. What did they report? They said somebody outside is taking video or pictures of the building and it's pure, 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 pure. Is that a crime? It's not a crime, but like... So... It just raises... It like, ends where it starts. There's but, a guy outside taking pictures. But, but, but a, you see your behavior why we're a little... Yeah, you, we want to leave, leave you alone, believe me. We want to go... I mean, I'm, am I detained? No, you're not Okay, so you can leave me alone. Because the whole thing is simple. You see me on the public sidewalk taking pictures, and you're like, "Why? What's your reason for taking pictures?" And I ask you, "Do I need a reason to take pictures in public on such a beautiful day?" And you're like, "Yes, you need a reason." No, I do not need a reason, sir. And I'm trying to keep the peace too, but you're making it more complicated. I'm just a private citizen in America, exercising my rights on the public sidewalk. If people feel uncomfortable, that's because they're ignorant to our rights. Okay, so that's where you guys come in, the guys that took the oath to our rights, and you educate the reporting the party. Hey, listen, I understand he's just on the public sidewalk taking pictures. So that's all. So we right? got your side of the story. We got then your rather than telling me, that. yeah, you need a reason, I don't need a reason. No, but sir, we just needed your side of the story. So tell us there is no side of the story. What you see is what I've been doing, okay. standing on the public sidewalk taking pictures. Okay, that's it. That's simple as that. Yeah. All right. You have a good simple. Day, sir. Yeah. All right, take care. Am I free to go? Yeah, that means I'm, that means I'm free to stay too, right? You're free to stay. Just okay. just whatever whatever is going on. And don't eat snow. Don't eat yellow snow. Okay. Right. Good tip. Thank you. Whatever's going on, like you know, don't, don't go inside and have an argument with them. And I don't. Them. I don't need directives. No, I'm just a private citizen good, minding good. my business. Okay. All I'm saying, okay. Just don't go. Okay. Okay. All right. God bless you, man. Take care. Right. You guys responded fast in Harrison. You seen that? The situation emphasizes how crucial it is to know your rights when dealing with the police. You should be aware that you can refuse to show identification if you haven't committed a crime or aren't suspected of one. Although officers can ask for ID in specific situations, understanding your rights and asserting them is important. In the United States, the Fourth Amendment protects people from unreasonable searches and seizures. So for an officer to ask for your ID, they must have a good reason to suspect you of a crime. If you're not a suspect, you're not legally obliged to show your ID. While it's good to cooperate with the police, it's just as important to safeguard yourself from unnecessary intrusion. You can choose to remain silent, especially if you think your rights might be at risk. If an officer questions you, 
You can use your Fifth Amendment right to stay silent and avoid saying anything that might get you in trouble. It might feel intimidating to stand up for your rights, especially against a police officer or authority figure. But remember, your rights are there to protect you. By asserting them, you not only defend yourself but also make sure that law enforcement is responsible for their actions. If you ever think your rights are being violated, try to stay calm and assertive. Keep in mind that you can say no to showing ID, stay silent, and ask for a search warrant if needed. To sum it up, this incident is a strong reminder of why it's important to know your rights and stand up for them when necessary. As citizens, we have the right to shield ourselves from unfair searches and seizures, and it's crucial to assert these rights when needed. Always remember your rights are meant to protect you, and it's your responsibility to stand up for them. By doing so, you not only protect yourself but also ensure that law enforcement is accountable for their actions. Hey sir, I'm with uh, my hey, Police Department, Officer Pesco. Okay, everything's being recorded, all right. I need you to step out of the vehicle, okay? For what reason? I use the AC. Huh? Oh, you asking me out the car? For what reason? Created detention. Yep. Come on, you can record all you want. Just step out for me. I open my door, sir. I don't consist to no search or seizures. Cool, man. How okay, back up, back up. Like your, back up. Like your camera system out here. Uh. So what's going on, man? How's everything going? Don't ask me no questions. I'm just talking to you. I, mean, I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk? No, sir. See you. Okay. What are you doing? So we got pulled over because he asked him why we got pulled over y'all because he he asking my man right now why was we at the police station filming now the most reason for the traffic stop is the vehicle is no front tag in the state of maryland you need two tags on the vehicle one in front one in the rear what's your name and badge number Route 2900. what's your name and badge number davis davis camp, camp i used to go to camp when i was in school did you go to camp? Did. You did? What camp you went to? Everyone, I... You from Merlin? Yep. You went to Camp Smee? Huh? Camp Smee? Nah. <laughs> What's your name and badge number, officer? Victoria, you want a picture of these nuts? Hey, man. Am I being detained? Yeah, you are. For what? Investigative detention. Okay, for what crime? Yeah. For what crime? Uh, but you took a picture of my print. I'm a for your request that phone too. Is this race you profiling? Hey Kim. Come here, Kim. Kim. Hey, Kim. Kimmy. These nuts. Ah! Got him. <laughs> these nuts. It's these nuts. That's what it is. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, baby. What's your name and badge number? What is that? CHA? Who? Okay. Can you repeat the badge number? 2763. 2763. You Spanish? None of your business. None of your business. <laughs> Look at him. Look, Look who he got behind of, y'all. They got all kinds of cool tats. Yeah, I got a big dick too. You want to know about my dick? Uh, That's small talk. I don't even hear about small things. No, it ain't, it ain't small. I bet if you show your wife my dick compared to yours, my shit like this, and your shit like this. What crime are we being investigated for, though? Which one? Get my print too. Get my print. Small ass shorts, boy. Go take your go take your son in his shorts. Take another picture. Bruh. It's one, two, three, four.
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about a hundred more. Y'all got us pulled over and you worrying about me going up and down the street. Tiger Woods. So the fact that you didn't say it, Look at him, look at him though. We're doing nothing more than that. I don't see your concern. Look at him, y'all. We I don't even think we It's suspicious. Y'all being so suspicious right now. What are we going to do? Cuz no one does. He got a he got a gang tag on the back of his well, vest. Just because you're y'all worrying about us? <laughs> they all got that weak ass dog in the back. Yeah, now you got to Waste of resources. Uh, uh, wasted resources to go follow us and all that. It's all good. It's not good. He love recording me. Hope you know I'm a for your request that phone too. But you like taking pictures of other men. You hear me? He came to work ready today, y'all. Yeah, he gonna beat off on my pictures later. Look at the dog. Hold up, bro. That an iPhone 7? Let me see what the picture look like. Look at him. He really think he the man because he got a thin blue line on the back of his back. Stupid. What's up, Cam? Why you ain't saying nothing? You like my hair? This shit can't get like this, Cal. Peekaboo, I see you. Peekaboo. <laughs> then he got bent over to see what the picture looked like. <laughs> he got bent over to see what the picture looked like. Freedom of Information Act. He know what it is. Well, we're going to foil you these phones. Y'all need all of these police cars for filming in public? For filming in public? That's a waste of resources, ain't it? That's a waste of resources, ain't it? What's up, bro? Why you come right here? Why you come right here? You might as well give me a hug. Give me a hug, man. Come on. Give me a hug. What does that mean? Big dick, Willie. You ask? I'm just, I'm just telling you. Yeah, hey, big dick is funny. He ain't funny when he fucking them bitches, though. What you think? Ask about big dick, Willie. Yeah. When people jump out and run, do y'all you catch them? You, not not your partners in them, but you alone. Somebody would have jumped out and ran, huh? No, I'm saying if y'all had to pull somebody over, right, for breaking the crime, and they got out and ran, would you chase them down? Would you catch them though? How many times people jumped out on you and ran? How many how many of them you catch? Huh? Not you. I'm saying you as in yourself. Not the department. Like all these people right here, I know we had a Ryan. One of y'all would have caught us. And it would it wasn't gonna be him. You probably would have caught me because you got them short legs. I'm old now. I can't run no more, man. I wish. I wish. I'm about let me see. Now I'm older. I know I'm older than him. I know I'm older than him. Him, me, and him probably the same age. But you see the difference between me and him, right? Me and him. How old are you? About his age. I know I am. How old is the guy I 
hell do you think he is? You older than 20, younger than 40. I'm good. I'm right on the head. Him right here, he's probably about 25, 24. I know him, he's probably about 43, 42. We got him. They still, look. For the brake light, y'all. We got all these cops for a brake light. Somebody barbecue. It's a barbecue pit around here. What? A barbecue pit or a restaurant. I smell barbecue. Oh, fire. It's right there. That's what you smell. Oh, that shit smell good. You treating? Yeah. Oh, I bet. When we get fed up with the traffic stop, we're going to go over that motherfucker. You get some sweet tea. You ain't going to get the, the spike tea. You know what I mean? You still got to go back to work. I ain't going to tell if you don't tell, though. Kim. Kim don't like to talk. Dang, y'all. He got them dickies from Dick's Sporting Good. You know, he ain't going to the mall and get them dicks. Yeah. They looking at my dick print now. Uh, the pictures he took of me, he looking at my dick print now. He wanna show Kim my dick print. You seen my dick print, Kim? Huh? Oh, you what? Now you get here? He showed you my dick print? When the, I'm before you request the photos. Migos all in the van. They looking at us. About a hundred of them in that bitch. Man, got the soggy New Balance. You know when you make oodles and noodles and you let them bitches be out for about 30 minutes and they get soggy? Them right there. They motherfuckers right here. I'm going to call this Pants with the Kelly. <laughs> he said it's done, y'all. All right, it's done. I know, I know. I've been talking about selling. Look, 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 look. That ain't what I had. Look, y'all. <laughs> look at him, y'all. He was high, y'all. Look at him, look at him. Look at him high, yo, y'all. Got the badge right there on the chest. I told Badge this nigga was a fit. Look, they about to have an accident and everything, y'all. Crashing and all that. I see you. <laughs> What? I'm messing up traffic. Get out of here with that bullshit. I ain't but, up. but look, look, look though. Fuck out of here. They got two lanes blocked off. We messing up traffic. Fuck out of here. What's up, folks? Messing up traffic. <laughs> you messing up traffic. Look out. Hey, dude, already got you when you already said hey, something yo, to hey, me. Yo. Hey, we're going to have an exclusive on you, bro. Man, what? We're going to have an exclusive the on you. The same car, y'all. Look at the tag number. I right, just went live, y'all. Look at them. Triple H looking at his boy. Look at him. Huh? What tag? Get it? Get that tag too. I got all of them. Why you trying to mass up now? You ain't mass up behind the building. See his titties? Look at his titties. He need to go back to training. Look at he got a big gun and all that. What you think? What you think he drank? Corona? Red stripes? 
Miller Genuine Drive. What you think he drank? No idea. I pulled over the shady spot. You see his gut? Yeah, he don't do too much running. Nah, he don't do too much working out, but got a wrestling shirt. <laughs> hey, get us with a picture, bro. <laughs> get us with a picture. Come get in the picture, bro. Now you want to hide. You a wrestler? You a wrestler? He had wrestling dreams. Vince McMahon ain't want to hide his ass. Jitsu Vince McMahon wasn't to hide you, would he? He wanted to hide you. You heard what I said. Vince McMahon would not have hired you. You you trying to take somebody's image and style, man. You're not Triple H. All right, folks. Have a good weekend. All right. Uh, what we going to do this weekend? I don't know. Uh, just the one that was driving this car, y'all. You the one who follows All right, bro. Yeah. Thought they had some. Scurry, yeah. Thought they had scurry. some. Look at all, all these police cars. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these two guys were driving along when suddenly they got pulled over by the police. Why? Well, apparently, the cops wanted to know why they were filming the police station and also because of a broken brake light. Seems a bit fishy, right? I mean, why would filming while having a broken brake light be a big deal? Turns out, the guys were just exercising their right to film, which is protected by the Constitution. But it seems like the officers didn't know that. And seriously, did they really need that many cops just for a broken brake light? Now, one of the officers starts talking about investigative detention. But what does that even mean? Well, basically, it's when the cops hold you for a short while to check if you might have done something wrong. But here's the funny part. One of the guys, Young City, he's hilarious. He's not holding back at all with what he's saying to the cops. And then there's this one officer with a bandana face mask. He's actually pretty chill. And Young City seems to get along with him just fine. It goes to show that how you treat people really matters. If you're rude, you'll get the same treatment back. But if you're respectful, you'll usually get respect in return. Respect isn't automatic though, you gotta earn it. After a while, they're told they're causing traffic issues. Really? Take a look at how they're parked in the middle of the road. That's not cool at all. It's situations like this that can make a whole police department look bad, all because of one bad officer. But hey, let's give credit where it's due. That officer with the bandana, he seemed like a decent guy. He was having a friendly chat with Young City, showing that not all cops are bad. If you believe in defending civil rights, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and sharing it with your friends and family. Your support can really make a difference in spreading awareness and don't forget to head over to his channel to appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description.